Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to Daily Politics Live on Trust TV. Thank you most kindly for joining us on the program as we attempt to delve into pressing issues surrounding Nigeria's politics, policy, and governance. My name is Abdullahi Ahmed. It's good to see you again. Now, the northwestern states of Zamfara, Sokoto, Kebbi, Katsina, Niger, and Kaduna states are reeling from a surge in terrorist attacks marked by killings and kidnappings with little state security intervention. Farmers have been slaughtered and scores abducted in Niger state, while similar tragedies unfolded in Benue, Kaduna, and Kasina state, as well as Zamfara, crippling socioeconomic life and threatening food security. The brutal killing of the district head of Gatawa in Sokoto state by his captors has sparked yet another widespread condemnation. Today, on the program, we engage with retired Assistant Inspector General of Police, Wilson Inaligu, and former Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Shio Sani, to discuss this escalating crisis across the country. But before we do so, let's join our Sokoto Bureau Chief of Daily Trust newspaper, Yusho Adamu, to give us an insight on developing issues in Sokoto City, especially in the aftermath of the killing of that uh, district head. I'm aware that we do not have Yushio on the line at the moment, but before we set the conversation in motion, let's listen in to former Sokoto State Governor Wamako speaking on this particular development and the wider issue of insecurity across Northwest Nigeria. It's a very, not even any human being, not want to any human being, I don't want to love any human being to be lost. Not even a traditional ruler, because life is life. And all human beings, all human life is precious important. Let alone a district head with somebody I know very well, somebody who I will work with his father, I know him very well, and I really felt it was debilitating when I had the news came to me that he was murdered by those who kept by his captors. It's so painful and uh, devastating. But I pray to Allah to grant him get for those. And grant the family the courage to bear the loss. It's, it's so painful, it's so sad indeed. This uh, the issue of security is a major problem the nation and the government is all are doing the best it can to address those challenges as much as they are because not one it's a, obviously there are different uh, banditry arm robbery kidnapping all kind of rubbish, uh, kind of, kind of, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. i'm confident that with all of us coming to understanding the dangers and the challenges involved we work we are, must come to work towards a solution together because for example Government may wish to. Government has already work, is already working to make sure that all the equipment, all the gadgets needed, all the support needed is given. But fundamentally, the one thing is missing, which must come from the community, that is information. But the vital information about the activity of those who are there, where they are. So the community has to be involved so that the security will have the right information, relevant information, help them operate with success. The thoughts of former governor of Sokoto State, Aliu Magatakada Wamako, speaking on this uh, particular development, especially with regards to the gruesome killing of the late district head of Gatawa. Uh, and of course, uh, the governor there highlighted, the former governor highlighting some of the issues, structural issues uh, affecting Nigeria's battle or impacting Nigeria's battle with insecurity. Let's uh, circle back now to join uh, Sokoto State Bureau Chief. Uh, or rather, Northwest Bureau Chief uh, of the Daily Trust newspaper, Yusho Adam, who is joining us uh, to further add value to the conversation, especially to bring us up to speed with some of the developments in Sokoto in the aftermath of the killing of the district head of Gatawa. Uh, Yusho, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Uh, what can you tell us about how Sokoto State has been reacting to this particular development? We understand that uh, there have been some protests to express the dissatisfaction of the people with regards to this uh, particular development? Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, of course, there, is, uh, there was a protest in Sabumbuni in particular because the people of the area uh, were shocked and were angry with the way and the manner the district head representing the area was murdered in the uh, bandits den so they they express their anger through protest uh, and uh, 
the, it has to uh, reach to the point that uh, some elders had to intervene, had to intervene and uh, uh, console the youth to uh, stop the uh, protest. Right. And what are we hearing from the authorities with regards to an investigation into this gruesome killing of the late district head? We understand that his son has also made some damning revelations. Uh, apparently, uh, there, has, there is some politics involved there. What have you learned about what is being done to get justice? Well, uh, as far as the son is concerned, like we have said, he has made a statement uh, while on his uh, hospital bed that uh, one of the politicians was uh, 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 is uh, is being accused uh, that uh, one of the bandits uh, confessed uh, to them while he was in uh, captivity that uh, they were sent by that particular politician that they should go and uh, kidnap uh, Mona. So this is the statement the son of the late monarch uh, made. So it is subject to uh, police and other security agencies uh, investigation to uh, ascertain the truth of the uh, statement or otherwise. Right. So yeah, I'm sure by now the security would have uh, uh, swung into action to ascertain the uh, authenticity of the statement. Right. Okay. Just before you go, you should just paint a picture for us regarding the security situation in Sokoto, especially with regards to those volatile areas. Uh, you know, this uh, area, especially the northwest, entirely, uh, the issue of banditry is being handled by special uh, tax force, which uh, comprises the security personnel of uh, military, uh, MOPOL, uh, and DSS and civil defense. So the security agencies under the Operation Hadrian Daji uh, are being deployed to uh, these kind of uh, areas, especially the areas that are, uh, are known for uh, banditry attack, such as Sabumburini, Ita, Wamoko, and the rest of others. So there are deployment of our securities those areas. But you know, these bandits uh, are taking the advantage of uh, vegetation cover. You know, we are in the rainy season. Uh, whenever it is uh, this, they intensify their attacks because they have vegetational cover. Whereas if they attack a village, they can easily move into the bush and disappear because they know the terrain very well. Right. Okay. Yusho Ibrahim, thank you so much for that update. Yusho, the Bureau Chief Sokoto of uh, the Daily Trust newspaper giving us an update on that. Thank you so much for joining us on Daily Politics. Thank you. Happy Nancy. Right. Let's open up the discussion now and bring in our guest. He is a former retired, I beg your pardon, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Wilson in Nalegu, and former Senator Shou Sani is going to join us uh, virtually uh, for this particular conversation. We're just going to take a moment's break and we'll be right back to set the ball in motion. Join us again.